Hey everybody, it's your boy Hugo. Um, I am coming to you with some sad news today. As some of you might have noticed, I am not in the latest episode of King Me Rise of a Drag King. And it is true, I dropped out last week, so this is just a quick video to say thank you and goodbye and to explain a little bit about why I made the decision. Um, it breaks my heart that I wasn't able to see it through to the end, but I mean, the uh, the reasoning is, is pretty clear at this stage. Like, it's, it's simple. The cons just outweigh the benefits um, and I'm not alone in finding this to be true I mean at this stage in the competition more people have dropped out than have been eliminated and I think that speaks volumes about what the experience has been like but I mean before we before we talk about anything I should say that um, sorry I live on a highway so there are some motorbikes um, uh, I, I am so glad that this show exists and I'm so grateful for the people putting it together and it's such an honor to be considered in, in the top 12 in the world in this thing and to be a part of the series that is the first of its kind. Um, but that said, I mean, it all sort of kicked in last week when I went to uh, start filming and I had my costume and my script already and I just said to myself like, what am I doing? Like this is <laughs> this is days and days of costume creation and writing and filming and editing for I hate to say it like not enough payoff. Um, at this stage, the episodes are only getting like a thousand views, um, and we're not actually seeing our work pay off in a product that we can confidently put our names to. Like for me, it was getting really difficult to um, to keep answering people's questions about it. So you know, my mates would be like well, why are the episodes so late and irregular to launch and why are they so long and why is the editing and audio and production quality so odd and so clumsy? What's the deal with the format, you know? Um, and um, they say it's a TV show but you're not getting paid and you have to film and pay for the filming and, um, uh, well, sorry, not pay for the filming, pay for everything and, like, um, film it yourself. And, I mean, the organisers are trying their best but the wide consensus or at least in uh, my social community both in real life and online is um, that unfortunately it's just not the most entertaining piece of media and that is the most important thing um, most of my friends just stop watching after the first episode and I think I think the views reflect that um, uh, another big thing for me was um, the time commitment so I only signed up to a, a 10 week run nice and neat and then pretty early in the process after that, they um, uh, announced that they would be um, releasing videos every two weeks instead of uh, every like twice every week. So that doubled the time commitment. Um, and I almost, I basically knew then that this, that sticking with it was going to be a real problem because I can't keep prioritizing my other work over um, um, uh, prioritizing this over my other work sorry <laughs> um, uh, and if I was to stay in I would have to keep working on this for another 12 weeks um, and that's 12 weeks without a paycheck and I have um, I have big projects here that I just I need to show a bit more love um, from that perspective the the decision to refocus my energy was just a no-brainer um, uh, and the last thing is just that the show is unnecessarily stressful. So giving you a blow-by-blow -blow account of the behind-the-scenes saga is not going to bring anyone joy at this stage, but um, the issues are almost exclusively communication problems um, surrounding the rules and the judging criteria. Um, also communication on social media, communication with um, uh, uh, other people in the uh, drag community, and also the promotional tactics. Um, uh, one thing in particular is, I'm, me personally, I'm really uncomfortable with the way the judges are contributing to the YouTube comments, um, but that's just one example. Um, uh, let's just recycle back to that idea. I'm so, I'm so happy this show exists. Um, thank you to everyone who's dedicating their time. You are absolutely trying your best, and I'm so glad that, um, that it is a thing that is happening in the world. Um, uh, I am I am out of here and I'm out of here of my own accord. Um, I feel so much better for it, even though I'm devastated that I couldn't see it through to the to the end. Um, I also hope that um, this video is taken the right way. I hope the judges sort of start listening to some of the feedback they're getting um, and respond appropriately. Um, none of these things are death sentences; like all of them are fixable and. I think it can be the show that we hoped. Um, I think one day Drag Kings will get the renown and visibility that we deserve, um, but for me at least, this is not gonna be the show to get me there. Uh, so I love you lots. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Follow me on, 
on all the things. Um, I've got some cool stuff coming up. Um, I love you, King Me. Um, from the arse end of the world, Hugo Girl, to Lou, darlings. <laughs>